Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love for Haitian Food. I am Mani Sherry. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make corn souffle. Corn souffle, corn pudding, whatever you call it, it's kind of the same. At least I think it's the same. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. On my Instagram, I asked you what Thanksgiving recipes you wanted me to do, and a couple of you guys said corn souffle. So if you want to see how I make it, stay tuned. Guys, please remember that all recipes can be found on my website, loveforhaitianfood.com. Without further ado, let's get to the video. To make corn souffle, you will need whole corn, cream corn, eggs, evaporated milk, corn muffin mix, onions, bell peppers, garlic, salt, pepper, sugar, butter, melted butter, cheese. First thing I'm going to do is beat my eggs. Next thing I'm going to do is add my sugar to the eggs. And I'm going to whisk that together. Next, I'm going to add my corn muffin mix and I'm going to add a little bit at a time. Make sure there aren't any lumps in there. And for the corn muffin mix, you could use any corn muffin mix that you prefer. I'm using the, the most popular one. I'm not going to say the name because we're not getting paid. <laughs> this is not an advertisement. But you know which one I'm talking about. Okay, now that we have that mix, I'm going to add my melted butter. Make sure we get all of that in there. Next, I'm gonna add the star of the show, the corn. So starting with my whole corn, I'm gonna add that to the batter. Next, I'm going to add my cream corn. And now I'm going to mix all of that together. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and now I'm going to make my cheese sauce on the stove and I'm going to let that cool after I make it and then I'm going to mix it with the other batter that we made with the corn. Let's get started. On a low to medium heat, I'm going to add my butter. I'm going to let that melt a little bit. Next, I'm going to add my onions. Then I'm going to add my peppers. Give that a mix. Next, I'm going to add my garlic. Give it a mix. Next, I'm going to add my salt and pepper. Gotta season your veggies. So definitely add some salt and pepper to your onions and peppers and your garlic. 
Mix that up. This smells so freaking good in here right now. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, now I'm going to lower this down. Lower my heat. Lower, lower, lower. And then I'm going to add my milk. So in goes our milk. So I've turned my flame off and now I'm going to add my cheese to the sauce. You see how nicely it melts because it's like thinly, it's like finely shredded cheese. And I'm using Parmesan and cheddar cheese in this. So half of the cheese is going into the sauce and then the rest is going to go on top of the souffle. So I am going to taste this, make sure we're good on salt. delicious so now that this is done I am going to remove it off the burner because you know it's still hot I want to let it cool off for a little bit before I mix it in with the, um, the corn mixture so now that my cheese sauce or my milk milk mixture has cooled I'm going to add it to the corn mixture all of this loveliness together mix all of this together okay that looks good so now I am going to butter my dish so I'm just gonna butter my dish I usually do this with like a paper towel but mm. This works. I'm using an eight by five by eight by five dish. So now I am going to slowly, carefully pour this, pour my mixture into the dish. Whoa. I'm scared guys. All right, there we go. So now I have the remainder of my cheese, the second half, and I'm going to give it a little mix, get the cheddar and the parmesan all mixed in together, and then I'm going to sprinkle it on top. So now I'm going to pop this baby in the oven for 45 minutes. Uh, that's usually how, how much time it takes to cook. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. <laughs> okay, now it's time to take this baby out of the oven. A look how cheesy goodness it looks I cannot cut into this yet I am gonna have to let it sit for a good I want to say 20 minutes maybe even 30 minutes just let it rest for a little while so everything can set because it's still hot if I if I cut into it now it's gonna be falling apart time to taste you know it's my favorite time Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. 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 I hope you guys try and like this recipe. Oh my god. So good. The sweet and the savory. Mm, perfect combination. You guys better try this recipe. Music is My Wife by King Flunts. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh my God. I could eat this whole thing by myself. Mm. Tell me more about. Mm. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Subscribe to my channel and watch some of my previous videos while you're here. Thank you.